Assalamualaikum and hello everyone Welcome back to our science year 2 lesson What are we going to learn today? As you can see from the slides, still in unit 5 It's about plants Today we're going to focus on two topics The first one will be stages of plants growth the Second one will be basic needs for a plants growth If you are ready, let's do this Jom Alright boys and girls, in our previous lesson, you have learned the importance of plants, basic needs for seeds to germinate, and a plant's growth. So today, you are going to focus on stages of plant's growth, basic needs for plant's growth. So as I told you previously, get ready with your textbook and your activity book. Now what do we have here? Let's look at these slides together. Stages of plant's growth. As you can see, this picture, I took it from your textbook, page 54. Let's read this sentence together, alright? A plants have several stages of growth. Let's go to Pa'ali's farm to observe the growth stages of tomato plants. Alright, in order to learn about stages of plants growth, we're going to take an example of tomato plants. This is Pa'ali's farm, alright? As you can see here, there are a few stages of plants growth. The first one, seeds all right seeds you've learned this before and then remember our previous lesson germination of seed percambahan biji benih all right germination of seed what's next the third stage will be young plants young plants the tomato is still not out yet but we can see the young plants already and the next one the plants will produce flowers all right can you see the tomatoes already not yet isn't it and the final stage will be produce fruits produce fruits for this plant what kind of fruits does it produce very good it's tomatoes all right first seeds germination of seed third stage young plants next one the stage number four produce flowers and then the final stage stage 5 produce fruits now let's refer to your textbook page 55 as you can see here this is the stages of plants growth but we are going to look at the diagram here all right previously we are looking at the Pa'alis farm now we are going to look closer at this diagram same plants which is tomato plant all right the growth stages of a tomato plant are seed remember seed germination of seed young plant produce flowers and produce fruits how many stages are there let's look at this diagram first seeds number one stage two germination of seeds look at here the seeds in the poly bag and then young plant stage 3 stage 4 produce flowers finally stage 5 produce fruits remember whenever you answer this kind of question there will be five stages of uh, growth for tomato plants now let's move on to our second topic for today's lesson which is basic needs for plants growth plants require the basic needs for growth plants will wither and die if any basic need is lacking wither mean layu right layu dan akhirnya mati because the basic need is lacking can you guess what are the basic needs for plants growth all right Let's keep your answer first and we are going to see whether your answer is correct or not. Right? Look at this picture. This plant is wither. Layu. Alright? Later we are going to do some investigation. What are the basic needs for a plant's growth? Alright boys and girls, are you ready with our first investigation for today's lesson? Yes, we are going to investigate the basic needs of plants. 
Previously, I want you to guess, isn't it? What are the basic needs of plants to grow? Here, we are going to prepare four different situations for each and every plant. Basically, they are the same plants, but we are going to put in different situations. We are going to label with plant A, plant B, plant C, and plant D. They are the same plants, but the situation are different. The first plant, plant A, we are going to provide with A, sunlight but no water. We are not going to water this plant. That is for plant A. For plant B, we are going to give it everything, water, air, and sunlight. What about plant C? Plant C, we are going to wrap it with plastic bag, transparent plastic bag. But we still are going to water this plant and it still get enough sunlight, only no air. Alright, finally plant D, we are going to provide with water. We are going to water this plant and then it's going to get some air because air can get can go through this uh, paper bag but there are no sunlight or not enough sunlight for plant D we are going to observe these four plants for two weeks what happened after two weeks plant A wilted remember layu plant B it grew plant C wilted also and plant D wilted all right now we can see here water a and sunlight are basic needs of plants as you can see here plant B all right it grows healthily okay so we know that water air and sunlight are the basic needs of plants to grow so did you get your answer correct if you got it all correct very good congratulations all right for our second investigation for today's lesson let's investigate nutrient requirements of plants in this investigation we're going to prepare with two plants all right two identical plants we are going to label as plant a and plant b and then we place both plant outside the classroom we waters the plants every day so both plants receive the same amount of water air and sunlight basic needs of plants to grow isn't it they have the same amount of basic needs but the difference here we are going to put liquid fertilizer into pot a can you guess what happened to the plant in pot a is it going to wither or is it going to grow normally same like plant in pot B can you guess what happened after two weeks the growth of plant A is better because it gets nutrient so the plants in pot A grows better because it gets nutrients you know where does the nutrient come from yes from the liquid fertilizer okay baja huh? All right, from this investigation, we know that we found out that nutrients help plants to grow and stay healthy. Remember that. So, based on two investigations, we already have two important facts about plants' growth. Okay? All right, before we are going to proceed with our next activity, I want you to remember this statement. Water, air, and sunlight are basic needs of plants. All right? three basic needs of plants are water air and sunlight and then nutrients help plants to grow and stay healthy grow and stay healthy remember this statement because you're going to need this for your exercise later on now let's look at the first exercise get ready with your science year 2 activity book we are going to uh, complete four exercises today from page 33 until 36 but first, we're going to look the exercise in page 33. Growth stages of plant. Write down the date as usual. Read the instruction. Number the growth stages of the plant in a correct sequence. So, can you see circles here? The first one already been done for you. Number these growth stages in the correct sequence. The first one, remember the seed. 
if you forgot already you can refer to the textbook or you can repeat this video the first one is seed what about the second one in this you have to find out which one of these stages are the second stage for the plants growth ah, I give you the second stage germination of seed you have to find out the other three right easy isn't it and after that you write down the number here in this circle in space provided here as you can see from the arrows and my laser pointer here there are four circles you write down the numbers and write down the stages number one already been done for you seed number two germination of seed you write down next the third step you have to cut these four pictures cut these four pictures careful with the scissors okay cut this and paste it here match it with the stages the first one been done for you already second germination of seed which one is it is it the first picture second third or the fourth picture you can refer to your textbook page 54 until 55 the answer is there right next one the second exercise for today observing the growth of an okra plant the instruction arrange the growth stages of the okra plant correctly as you can see here you are required to arrange it once again okay but there are no circle like the first exercise so I want you to just write your answer next to the picture number one seat just write next to the picture or next to the stages what about number two three four and five remember there are five stages so you write down here okay you draw your own circle all right seed germination of seed young plant produce flower and produce fruits we are there and after that next step you will copy these stages these five stages and write it down here in sequence all right in correct sequence remember dalam susunan yang betul the first stage second stage third stage fourth stage and fifth stage must be in sequence one two three four and five okay i hope that makes sense to you for your third activity you are going to observe the basic need of a plant we have done this before isn't it so this is just a revision for you easy All right first step place plant a and b outside the classroom water plant a every day okay now we are going to observe what happened to plant a and plant b after seven days after seven days okay a week it's about a week complete the table with your observation on the number of leaves up after seven days so you just need to find out the number of leaf because the day the first day already written here been done for you here plant a uh, we watered the plant first day it has four leaves plant b we are not watering the plant the first day same amount of leaf which is four leaves after seventh day what happened to plant a and what happened to plant b as you can see here you need to observe plant a what should you write inside this table yes the number of leaves so you need to count the number of plant a leaves here one two three four five six seven eight so you write down it in this column what about plant b you count how many leaves are there is it the same eight or still four or reduced to two or three you have to count right and write it down here two answers only 
just count the leaves easy isn't it and off to the next question which plant grows better why so which plant grows better tumbuhan mana yang tumbuh dengan lebih segar which one grows better plant A or plant B if you think is plant A you just write down A here if you think is plant B you just write down B here because why Ah, your answer in this page textbook page 56 and 58 why remember the basic needs of plants because ah, the basic needs of plants to grow off to the next question complete the statement below this one you need to write the basic needs of plant to grow there are three actually alright so you have to write down here there are three remember if you got already you refer to your textbook or you can repeat this uh, video so that you can find out the answer right I hope you do that don't just write anything okay next the final exercise for today's lesson <sighs> what a relief isn't it write down the date Read the instruction, write the basic needs for cucumber seeds to germinate and grow well. Cucumber seed. Alright. The cucumber seed will germinate if it is removed from the plastic bag because seeds need. Ah, why should we remove this plastic bag so that the seeds germinate? Why? Because it need. Remember the basic need for seeds germination ah we've learned this before this is just for your revision or you can refer to your textbook page 57 and 58 the answers are there i've checked it already yes the answer are there seeds also need what picture is this hmm? ah you write down here and suitable what is this suitable what suitable temperature huh? not suitable thermometer suitable temperature to germinate so I already gave you um, around two answers already isn't it and this one you have to do it on your own young cucumber plant still you have to refer to your textbook page 57 and 58 ah, I give you the first one this one also already gave it to you Okay, suitable temperature to germinate. Alright, boys and girls, that's all for our lesson. I hope to see you in the next video. Alright, stay safe. Bye-bye.